Thank you for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. You can see there the bullet holes in the video behind us. KPRC 2's Rowan Blogan is in Cyprus right now with a story you'll see only on two. You can see at least five bullet holes, one through the car itself and several on the garage door as that 70-year-old man was inside asleep. 70-year-old John Lee woke up to this noise. He initially thought someone was knocking on his door until he went out and found shell casings. His son, Huang Li. I feel it's very serious because... <laughs> you think so? You think so, man? Maybe he taught that black lady how to say community. Yeah, I'm sure. This guy, this is, but this guy's doing well in this country. This guy, he may not be able to speak the language. He's doing very well in this country, I bet. Because when I come here later, I see the fight, <laughs> the hole, you see, and the bullet, it go to the back room. Bullets rip through the garage, the walls, and even getting inside. From the garage door, they shoot the crew over there in the back room. And they threw over there. Harris County Sheriff's Office say the shooting happened last week. Investigators recovered shell cases since that night. The couple hasn't slept in their own beds. I feel bad for them. You know, they're a quiet couple. I mean, we say hi to each other at the mailbox, you know, in passing all the time. I mean, again, senseless. And this you know, shit, they were probably the aiming at you. Slowly move up the streets, turns on the cul-de-sac, and sits there for nearly one minute. If they wrong that rap he will come and he just did the target he will do again lee fears this was no accident in the community only this the asian yeah so i'm not sure but i always think about that just <laughs> said his name is fuck son <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did he just say man Tonight, Houston police are looking for the man they say robbed a woman and her husband outside their home, stealing their car, and it was caught on camera. Janelle Bluto joining us live from the Briar Forest neighborhood with more on what happened and who police are looking for. Janelle. Yeah, guys, well, police say that 72-year-old woman was held at gunpoint inside her garage in the middle of the day, and now they're hoping you can help. <laughs> she he could have gave that woman a heart attack, man. No bullshit. She's not funny, but he could have literally given her up. Her screams are enough to make your heart stop. It was about three o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, February 11th, when Houston police say this woman had just opened her garage door at her home off Briar Forest in West Houston. She went outside to put something in her car when police say a man wearing a ski mask approached her, pointing a gun, demanding the keys to her BMW sedan inside the garage. As you can see, she retreats in fear, but her screams were loud enough for her 75-year-old husband inside the home to hear. When he came to the front door, the suspect turned the gun on him telling him repeatedly to get the keys to the couple's car. The husband goes to grab the keys and the suspect follows him inside for a moment. He then takes off with the car. Houston police say they found the car the next day unoccupied on a street in southwest Houston. But tonight they're still looking for this man. If you have any information, you're asked to call. Who's that man? All that for the cost of an Uber. Yeah, man. These people that's are... that's Demon Travius Jackson. You think so? I don't think that's a um you, you don't think that that's a um, burrito? No. Oh hell no. I don't what I don't understand is I understand the joy riders, but what the like you take a car and take it nowhere? It's fun. Like yeah, he, he this guy wasn't joy riding though. He no, the act of scaring the fuck out of white people is fun. <laughs> well, hey, man, he had a date that night. Yeah. And he wanted to like impress that. her, so he had to get a BMW. Exactly. It, it could have been something like that. Like, he just needed the car for it. Like, maybe he needed to get across. Her. I don't know how public transportation is down there either. Like, he could have just maybe needed to get to another part of town. 
could have been over there. And it's just like, you know, maybe his boy was had a car and he's like, I want a car. Like you're riding with your boy and you're like, man, I'm trying to get me a car. And you're like, all right, we're gonna get we're gonna get you a car. You know? It's 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 it, and it's it's it, to try to with your glider mind is probably gonna be very hard for you to understand that. Call crime stoppers. Well, the couple I was thinking maybe it'd be used in the car. The back, but they did not want to comment further. Maybe. They say the video speaks for itself. Rekha? Yeah, sure is terrifying. Janelle, thank you. Yeah, man, very terrifying, man. I mean. Now, what happens if the old guy walks back out, throws the keys on the ground in front of him, but the kid bends down to pick up the keys, the old boy smokes it. Then who's in trouble? I don't know. Texas, he might not be in trouble. Yeah, it depends on the state. Yeah, he might not be in trouble in Texas for that. Because um, yeah, out here, they'd be like, oh, mm, let me see. clean your gun. KHOU is celebrating Women's History Month. This year, we're highlighting women-owned businesses across our area. Hi, my name is Katrina Scott. I'm the founder, the owner of Shades of Midland and Hair. We've been in business since 2019. We sell wigs, hair extensions, Hair care products for your hair. Shades of melanin. And they sell <laughs> other people's hair. They sell white women's hair. <laughs> and fucking Indian and Brazilian and shit. Somebody horse got tails. Got the, somebody, got the, um, somebody got the playback playing. Please um get the playback. But you yeah, know, um, this is Every time we see one of these sisters at these blackity black stores, this is what they sell. This is just, it's just, and then it's like she, she has, I promise you, she has no clue of the irony. I promise you. And I don't know how much that stuff is, but I've heard that real hair is damned expensive. Yeah, yeah that shit's super fucking, that's hundreds of dollars worth of shit in oh, there. Or yeah, something. Yeah. Scott, I'm the founder, the owner of Shades of Midland and Hair. We've been in business since 2019. We sell wigs, hair extensions, hair care products for your hair, and we sell lashes as well. You know, watching my daughters and their interest in hair, it came as an idea like, okay, I want to start this business. I want to leave generational wealth to them. First, we had to do research and find the best quality hair for not only African American women hair, but also for <laughs> the best quality hair for African Americans. <laughs> this is insane, man. But also for Caucasian women and Hispanic women, because we wanted the hair to benefit all races of women. We also wanted to meet the need of women that suffered cancer or alopecia to make sure that the wigs and the hair look just like their own hair. We also test our product over time to make sure that the quality is still there. For more information, head to kcho.com. And they, they specifically named it Shades of Melanin Hair to attract white women and Hispanics. <laughs> I'm sure they're just beating 